Hi, I'm True Beauty Expert David Pollock from JustAskDavid.com and today I'm going to share with you lotion and ointment recipes. First, let me talk to you about the difference between a lotion and an ointment. A lotion, chemically speaking, is about 60 to 80 percent of water soluble ingredients and only a small amount of oils. On the flip side, an ointment is a much, much heavier product and it's going to contain about 60 to 80 percent of solids or oil based ingredients and only a small number of water soluble. So what does all that mean? Very simple. A lotion is great for moisturizing the skin, moisturizing the hands and daily use. The heavier ointments are great for dry elbows, dry knees, cracked heels and other things when you start needing that deep moisturizing. So it's meant more to heal the skin. So let's talk about how to make your own. To make your own lotion is very simple. First, you take a little bit of beeswax. We take a little bit of wheat germ oil, a little bit of coconut oil, and some fresh al uh, aloe vera. If you don't have it, you can use some extract, some aloe vera extract. But I love getting the fresh aloe because of all the nutrients. You'll take it, put it into a pan, melt it, and then as it cools, use a whisk and whisk it up. And just whip, 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 whip. And it's going to turn into a light, fluffy lotion as it cools. How to make your own ointment is very simple. Use a little bit of cocoa butter, some beeswax, shea butter, melt it in a pan and add some essential oils to it to give it a nice smell. And then you can always improve it by adding a, the contents of a vitamin E capsule or whatever else you want. Make it your own. Melt it into a pan, allow it to cool overnight, and then use it on cracked heels and dry skin. Now you've just learned how to make your own lotions and ointments. I'm true beauty expert David Pollock. Until next time.